Hello there, scientists. Happy June. How are you today? That's great. It sounds like a lot of you are excited about the new season that starts this month, summer. I am too. And tomorrow is the last day of school as well. How many of you are celebrating your learning with your class and teacher? Wow. So many of you are going to be celebrating tomorrow. I will also be celebrating with my class. We're going to reminisce. That means to happily remember things on all of the things that we've learned in second grade. We learned about reading, writing, adding and subtracting three-digit numbers, as well as butterflies and other insects. I would really enjoy it if we could do that here as well. Would you take a trip down memory lane with me? Really? <laughs> I'm glad you said yes, because I already prepared it. Let's start by watching some clips from January. We were learning about scientists and how to act like them too. I'm going to use words to tell people why I think I'm a scientist, but let me think about why I'm a scientist. Hmm. Well, I ask a lot of questions, so I can add that. That feels clean. So, what do you think? <laughs> ay, 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 scientists, there's still some germs on my hands. Did you notice how earlier, just how quickly some of these germs spread after I coughed into my hands? Yes, they spread super quickly. And this isn't really a problem if I'm the only person that's going to touch these items. And also this is an experiment. But if this were real and somebody were to come in and touch these things, I could see how, easily it is, how easy it is to get sick from germs. Well, I'm going to wash my hands the correct way and make sure to get all the germs off. Bueno, much better. <laughs> Another thing I do is observe. I love observing nature when I go for a walk or camping. I sketch and write my ideas too. I always joke with my students that if I don't write something down, I won't remember it. Let me add that to my scientist drawing. Wow. Before today, I didn't realize I had so many traits that made me a scientist. I feel so proud of myself. Wow, I had totally forgotten about the germ experiment. That was a fun experiment to conduct with you. The next month in February, we learned about living things and their needs. Let's see what we went over in that time. How do habitats help living things meet their needs? Yes, many of the animals were able to eat other animals or plants in their habitats, uh-huh. They were able to get water from that. We saw that in the wetlands and the islands. Mm-hmm. Muy bien. Some were able to use defenses based on colors. Yes, and they were able to get clean air where they lived too. But what happens when your habitat doesn't meet your needs? Think of the monarchs. Eso, yes, that's. You can move to a new habitat or migrate. Hmm, what else can you do? Think about our interview with the scientist Isaiah. Yes, the habitat can be modified, or if they need it, they can be restored. Increíble! Living things have so many needs, and our habitat has to meet those needs. The next month, March, we were engineers. Let's look back and check out what we designed. Well, engineers, how can we use force to make objects move in the shadow puppet box? Awesome. <laughs> so some of you remember that I showed you a moving rocket ship. So we can use pushes and pulls to make the rocket move. Great job, engineers. You're showing me how much you've learned. What was the special thing that I did with my light source and shadows this time? Yes, I made the light blue. But I loved making shadow puppets. These projects made me feel like I was a real scientist. At the end of March, we had spring break, and when we came back, it was April. Huh. I don't remember what we learned about last month. Let's roll the clip so I can remember. Hey, geologists. How are you doing? I am going to hold on to this jacket in case it gets windy later. Even though it's not winter anymore, we still get cold and cloudy days. Now we're in spring. You know the season, right? Mmm, some scientists do and some scientists don't. That makes me wonder if you even know that seasons change. Oh, yes, 
We learned about geology, the study of the earth, and also how our earth moves around the sun, causing us to experience daytime and nighttime. That was a lot of fun. And this month, we've been answering questions submitted by many of you. How many of you had your question answered here on the show? <sighs> awesome. Thank you for sparking our curiosity. I wanted to wrap up our learning by going back to one of our first questions and modifying it a bit. One of our questions was, what does a scientist do? And like I said, I want to change it a bit. I want us to use a statement and finish it. Let me write it down so we can read it together. So I wrote, I am a scientist. These are the things I do. I'm excited to start answering, or at least finishing the, the sentence. So please take out your science notebook for one last time and finish writing the sentence using your own words. I'm gonna get started too. So I am a scientist and these are the things I do. Hmm, what have I done in this show? I've asked questions, ask questions. Mm, I've done research, so research. I've designed things. Design. Hmm. Ooh, I remembered my learning by using a notebook. So I can say, I'll just add, use a, note, a science notebook. A science notebook. I wonder how many of you have the same things that I have. So I ask questions, I do research, I design, I use a science notebook. What else have we done? Mm, we've used models. Like when we use the model of the sun, the earth, and the moon. I've drawn diagrams. Drawn diagrams. Oh. Mm. I should say use models because I still do and I draw diagrams because I still do that. My bad scientists. I guess I make mistakes too. Make mistakes. That's a really important part of science because we learn from all our mistakes. Mm. What else do I do as a scientist? <gasps> I make conclusions. Okay, so I am a scientist. These are the things I do. Ask questions, research, make conclusions, use a science notebook, design, use models, draw diagrams, and make mistakes. Huh, I didn't fully realize that all these special things that I do make me a scientist. <sighs> what did you write down? What things do you do that make you a scientist? Oh, cooking, uh-huh. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. Scientists, I had a wonderful time reminiscing with you. What has been your favorite thing that we've learned about this season? Oh, yeah, that was really fun to learn about. <laughs> I agree. I really enjoyed learning about dinosaurs with you. This is the end of our time for today, but I enjoyed reflecting on our learning together. Please enjoy the rest of the show, and I'll see you tomorrow for our final episode. Nos vemos entonces. See you then.